mean, what's already been a busy week for aerospace and defense? I sat down exclusively with Richard Spencer, the secretary of the U.S. Navy. One of the things we discussed, that $34 billion F-35 deal struck between the Pentagon and Lockheed Martin. It's the largest contract to date for the fighter jet program, which will include aircraft for the Navy. I asked Secretary Spencer what it signals about military spending. And one are the reformation efforts we're actually doing in the, in the Pentagon itself. How we do business, how we conduct contracts, how we let contracts, buying smarter, being a more intelligent client to know what the market needs from us so we can extract the most efficiencies and get our requirements fulfilled. Uh, the other is actually on contract specifics, how we're buying smarter. You look at the F-35 block contract. That did provide us some amazing savings buying in that sort of a lot. We look at how we buy the Virginia-class submarine that we're just going to be letting with General Dynamics and uh, Newport News. Um, we're, we are buying smarter. Some of the Navy's shipbuilding programs, like the new Ford-class aircraft carriers, have been under scrutiny especially in the last couple of weeks, cost overruns, delays, and he says that is changing. We also talk tech, including the military's transition to the cloud, how the JEDI contract, which was just awarded to Microsoft, will affect the Navy, and how it speaks to a broader push to adopt more commercial technologies and make business with the government feel, quote, less cumbersome. I look at our smaller, our smaller company supply base, which make up the largest numbers of suppliers we have. When we come in and go, here are the cyber rules and regulations you have, it's two big feet ending up at the front door and the poor small company goes, my God, I can't afford to do business with the government. It's too cumbersome. Cloud gives us one of the best steps forward. We keep the, 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 the classified data in the cloud. The contractor uses it as needed and puts it back versus, hey, here's the file physically. You have to put it in the, in the vault every night. No one can take pictures of it. It actually puts technology to the advantage of us. That was a wide-ranging interview, to say the least. I mean, we talk a little bit, of, talked a little bit about priorities for the Navy too, and this mili military modernization push. How much, in terms of future investments, will go towards these so-called legacy programs and all these, for example, ship shipbuilding programs versus what he calls Force 2.0 weapons for the future. So we talked about directed energy, hypersonics, AI, quantum computing. He's even thinking about additive manufacturing, so basically 3D printing uh, as part of that as well, and. And how they basically stay the curve, stay ahead of the curve of their strategic competitors out there in the world, namely China, Russia, some of the other geopolitical threats. We also talked about Boeing, um, given the testimony on the Hill and everything that's going on with 737 Max, which is commercial business for Boeing. But given the fact that they are a key defense contractor, says they're watching it closely, and that in general, though, um, Boeing is marching along as asked on some of those programs with the Navy. Um, guys, wide-ranging interview. You can check out more of it on CNBC.com. The military has been talking about modernizing the purchase process for a long time. That was one of the talking points uh, about Jedi ahead of them deciding who was going to get this contract. I'm really curious to see how that plays out. Does that mean the margins aren't going to be as good for Microsoft because the government expects kind of parity in, in how things are priced? Does it mean they actually are going to make decisions more quickly about exactly you know, how different technology platforms need to be spec'd out? We, we'll see. I, I we guess will. we'll see. Are they going to announce that? I'm not even sure we will see. Oh, I think there's a lot more discussion to be had about Jedi. Um, you know, we talk about this Jedi specifically as an up to $10 billion contract over 10 years, but the minimum required payment is only $1 million. Guys, one of the other things we talked about, too, um, is also just this idea of capital flows as a national security issue. It's something that he raised recently in a Wall Street Journal op-ed, which is part of the reason we sat down and had this Did had he this have discussion. a view as to whether or not the Microsoft award was politically motivated? No, and I, you're not going to hear that from Navy is not involved in the contracting process. And truth be told, you're not going to hear something along those lines from the DOD in general. There are very specific rules and regulations, uh, protocols in place for how contracting happens. Things like protests, which is what everybody's sort of expecting from Amazon now at, at this point. We'll see uh, if we get that next week. Um, is unfortunately, it's a part of doing business, uh, and it's a part of the contracting process for many big high-profile programs.